everybody. This is Cindy Utter. Welcome to my Artsy Endeavors. Have fun. Hey guys, Cindy Utter here with my Artsy Endeavors. I hope you guys are enjoying this week having lots of fun. I hope you've enjoyed this month. Um, we've had a lot of inspiration, a lot of fun. Um, what I'm here to do today is bring you a book review and this is called Creative Bur Bloom Projects and Inspiration with Fabric and Wire and it's written by Jennifer Swift. I found this book in a local store called Ollie's. It's kind of like a uh, a big lots, a kind of like a warehouse buyout type location store and for $5.99 is what I paid for the book and it just something about it, it the flowers is what caught me and I thought oh this is really cool <clears throat> pardon me so I wanted to tell you about this book and show you a few things that I've created out of it um, the author is Jennifer Swift uh, she's a mixed media artist out of uh, Minneapolis Minnesota um, I don't know what the date is. Let's see what the date is on this book. Da, 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 da. Usually they have the copyright right here. 2010. So this came out in 2010. Now what she does is she actually gives you lessons and shows you how to take fabric and take wire and make things combining the two. There are There's templates in here there are several several projects and I'm gonna show you which one I've done which couple I've done and I'm also gonna to talk to you about a few that I really want to do now when I when I started looking at this book the first person that came to mind was Jerry Bellini Jerry if you don't have this book I think it's right up your alley okay I have to tell you I loved working with the wire and the fabric now the first thing that I made um, she calls it the artist's badge and it's right here the artist ba artist's badge so I made one only mine's a little bit bigger now you can see there's wire on here that says artist and then I used a wire frame around it okay and then fabric which I cut all these little pieces and then you have a dangly that's just got some goodies on it so this is one of the things that I made um, out of this book. Another thing that I've made was um, I actually started working on just doing the words. And this is all out of wire. And it's just artist. Okay. This was a heavier wire, so it was a little bit harder to work with. She talks to you about all the different gauges of wires, and she'll tell you all the supplies that you need. Now, another thing I've done, and I looked for them and I could not find them. I actually have ones that are completed. Um, the only thing I can think is I may have put them in a project. Um, flowers. Here's one flower that I made. Um, and I've made, like I said, I've made them completely completed with the fabric as well. And here's a couple more. All right. And then here are the leaves that I've bent. Uh, to have made into leaves and like I said I've done these I have quite a few of them that are done but I just can't find them I can't put my hands on them right now but they look an awful lot like this okay so um, if you are interested in playing around with wire if you're interested in creating with fabric this is a t fantastic fantastic book so those are the things that I've done now I want to show you a couple other things in here that I want to do um, let's see, let me see if I can find one real quick. This is called the Cloud Nine Cuff. Look at that. Isn't that fantastic? I immediately thought of Jerry Bellini. Now what she does is she actually walks you through each of the steps telling you how to make a certain project. Um, she gives you tips on if you can't find a certain um, if you can't find a certain p 
piece for the project, she'll give you a tip of some other things to use instead. So that's one thing I'd love to, to make. Another one would be um, the altered canvas bag. I think this is really cool. And she actually did the inspired with wire and then um, sewn it onto her bag. Did a lot of writing, put in some more odd and then, um, you know, sewing. Uh, let's see. Another one that I think is really, really cool is this upcycled art journal. Okay. She does it. I love this idea with the fabric. Love it. Love, love, love this. So don't be surprised if you see me doing that here soon. Um, but she shows you everything, even how to make the coil and how to put it on your journal. So definitely check out this book. Um, you can, what I do, whenever I see a book that I, I'm interested in, I usually take a picture of it wherever I see it. And then I go to half.com. Half.com is part of eBay, but it works a little bit different. When you go to half.com and you go into books, um, I put in the title, and let me tell you, a lot of the books that I get, I get for under $5 a piece. Um, it's just older books like this one from 2010 or it may be a book that um, even new ones some of them come in they come into like the used bookstores and they sell them on half.com so definitely check it out and I thought you guys would enjoy this book um, it, like I said it's fantastic it's one of my favorite books and no I'm not giving this one away sorry guys <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed as always, have fun. We'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hey, everybody. I hope you enjoyed that video. As always, hit like, share, comment. I'll answer any of the comments that you have or questions. Um, and as always, be kind, have fun. That's what life's all about. And happy creating. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.